Yes. <laughs> All right. So what are we doing here, April? Could you um we... Okay, just as a way of closing, we're going to go around the circle and find out from each person one thought that you want to leave with us, with this group, and one thought to take away for the future. And the circle is listed in the chat, and we're going to start with Roland. Over to you. Thanks. Um, the, what's coming up for me is um, that what we're building together is um, a fractal system of responsiveness that uh, uh, at the individual, interpersonal, um, uh, place-based, and uh, global level, we're looking to in, uh, build ways in which we can be uh, limber um, with uh, with what happens, including puppy uh, kisses. <laughs> so over to Jake. Uh, hello there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there's Nioki again. I, I just had taken her out. Uh, was, that's where I was gone when I was off video. And uh, she was very happy. She ran around really fast. And I love her energy. Uh, thoughts, closing circle thoughts. Um, for me, it's, it's very much about... Um, it truly is spring. It truly is spring. And uh, there's budding and there's growth and there's a warming. And um, so I'm looking forward to a deeper participation uh, again in the circles and the guilds. And uh, that's exciting for me. And I just feel the sense of it's not only, but there's a lot of good momentum, and there'll be even greater growth and, and momentum than what we could even imagine right now. I, I think that's where it is. I really, it's going to be a good harvest, good, good, good spring, good, good growing season, and there's going to be a great harvest. That's my and. Um, so over to Barbara. I'm I'm remembering Friday night and I cannot acknowledge the artist because I do not know and the song that grounded us and op opened our process and what's what came what the gift of that and what's been with me throughout our time together and present now and what I want to remember to the group and also what I want to take away. So I might be cheating a little, but I think it's okay. I think I can get away with that is launch the lifeboats, take the tiller, steer the way. And I just want to tag with that as is true in the moment for me and for each of us, that that's, that is in no way a prescription. It's, it's a song, it's a song and it can be a song in my heart and that I can be present with that in whatever way is true for me in that, in each moment, just so uh, enriched. Thank you everybody. And I'm passing to Linda. Thank you. Um, I don't think it's because of the trees behind me, but I, I suddenly had this, um, th this vision of a really sturdy tree that um, has deep roots and is moving towards the sunlight and I'm suddenly a part of that tree and there's already been a lot of good root work done, thank God. So it's not gonna bend over or crash in the wind. 
and and there's a lot to do to make that tree continue to branch out and to bloom and uh and i think the purpose is to be a, a well it's the lifeboat idea of offering something new to the the world that's desperately needed so you know i'm somewhere on that tree somewhere somewhere building a lifeboat for both myself and hopefully others so i'll pass it to you ben um the artist for the song is Frank Turner, thanks to Ronnie, um, good remembering. And Rolan has suggested that as a closing, we play the song again. And I think that would be a brilliant way to bookend our experience this weekend. And um, I think that what I want to send away, what I want to leave with the group and what I want to take away is kind of the same thing. Um, this weekend, didn't take the shape I thought it would, and it was much better than what I thought it would. And um, and there was a part of me that was, you know, last year's had a different energy to it. And, you know, we were all in the space and there was a lot of hubbub and activity and, and, and there was a lot of work associated with that, just in sort of making accommodations work and, and all that kind of stuff. And I was sort of missing, you know, like, oh, you know, it's like, feels like a, like a step backwards, you know, like there were some, there were more people and, and all that. But I think this, this weekend has been so much more uh, rooted, you know, um, there's, there's solid interest here. There we're already, you know, we're, we're coming up to speed on some of the details, but we, we know last year, there were a lot of people who really weren't even clicking into that worldview thing that we're, you know, talking about. And, um, and this year, I feel like we all share that perspective. And it is, it's the, it's the question of where do I fit, you know, and, uh, and just finding, finding my place in the, in the network, where can I plug myself in? And um, so uh, that, it, 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 I think my takeaway is it's really trust the process. You know, it's like, create the space, do, it's the gentle discipline, you know, we've got some, we've got some protocols, we've got some frameworks, um, we've got some tools that can, we can use when we need to, you know, and um, uh, just walk the talk and then relax into, and I think delight, I'm going to steal Barbara's work, you know, and then just delight in what happens, you know, even, and this, is I'm, I feel like I, today, I feel like I can integrate what I think is the core Buddhist teaching of, even hardship, you know, even setback, even tension. Okay, you know, what, you know, that's, it's all here for us to work with. So I'm feeling, um, I'm feeling very buoyed up and, and very relaxed into, you know, we just do what we say we want to do. Uh, so with that, I'm going to pass over to Sandra. Thanks, Ben. And um, I think what I want to offer back to the group is is more of an invitation to reflect on on how all this work um, transforms our relationship with nature. And many of us are like using metaphors, and I know that the processes are all informed by nature, but just to really keep sinking into that rootedness of 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 connecting with nature and um, hoping that this, you know, my participation in this, in this weekend and in this community um, will continue to inspire me as I now shift my focus into writing my dissertation on articulating how my experiences um, contribute to a more ecocentric worldview. So I got to shift into some theoretical concepts, but I think this is an, an example of, of practicing and, and applying this ecocentric worldview into changing the way I live my life. And I'm sort of in that transition. And, and as we all are, that con continues that a flow of trans transforming and emerging and changing and just trying to stay, remind myself um, that I'm doing this to connect and stay 
in relationship with with nature and surroundings so blah 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 on to you ronnie i think what i what i want to leave with the group and also what i'm taking with me are pretty much the same and it's kind of what ben was saying just lean into the process and um it's that balance between it's liberating structures. So having some structure to guide us and ultimately we don't know what the outcome is going to be, but we, we, we do need the guardrails um, along the way. And also what came from up for me this morning from my mantra, um, everything works itself out is I really like that. And I feel like I really need that right now. And it's not about everything works out how I want it to, yeah. everything works out how I think it should, but things work themselves out. That's just what happens. And I, you know, and looking at tensions as one way to visualize that, you know, a tension or a knot or an entanglement, eventually something happens and it starts to come apart and, uh, and become something else. So just leaning, leaning into that as well. Over to Becca. Um, I'm noticing, I'm remembering the images of the spiral that we were sort of a theme in our check-in, I guess, Friday night. And um, thinking about last year at this time and um, feeling the, the gradualness of the spiral, I think, and the, and yet being able to see like, oh yeah, it is going to be different to have a weekly um, coordinating team meeting, whatever it's called circle. <laughs> um, and that I could check in and hear from, even if I'm not on it. And, um, so just appreciating that, you know, like the, how, how, how we create something out of nothing or out of, out of different things, I guess it's not out of nothing, but, um, different people, different relationships. And, um, so I guess it's to, yeah, to like, let's, let's sense into the spiral and the gentleness of the spiral. Um, and I think I'm, I'm taking with me uh, appreciation for getting to be part of a uh, sociocracy and this particular culture of circle practice and, um, and an, an eagerness to be on a fly, a fly on the wall to more of it, it, it just to learn about the process um, as well as being part of it in, in the ways I can help. So, um, and the, the, the song, there's a song that I love that has this wonderful line, life wants to meet you where you are, not where you think you should be. Um, remember that and the sacredness of play and remembering to play. And I think uh, we need to pass to Heather who didn't wasn't here when the circle was named. Yeah. And so I don't think I have anything pithy to say that would sum the whole thing up. Um, I am going away with all kinds of lessons that are not yet articulated. And a lot of that has to do around sociocracy Thank you for practicing that, and particularly for to you, Ben, for that, and uh, and also to the core group who have made it possible for be, us to be in this place. I have no disillusions on how much work has been done uh, to make it possible for us to be here and actually have guilds that are formed and populated, and I mean that's huge progress for me. Um. And uh, and I'm just thinking about the song and I'm thinking, is there not and do we not have and do we not know musicians that will sing this song and teach it to us? I know for our farm, we have a song that was written for us. It's a lot simpler, uh, but it's just a really grounding thing. So that's just the thought, you know, that I that I leave with you, someone on Pender has got to have a guitar and would love to learn that song and teach it to us. 
And I guess the other thing too is that in some ways I'm not really flexible. I have to, you know, admit. Um, I want this to be our forever home. And so I want us to buy this land. And uh and 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 let's go forward and do that. And I'm I'm confident now that if this becomes the center, you know, for a lifeboat, that we've got the people now to to make that happen in every other way. But yeah, we gotta get on with the the finances to actually purchase the land so we can put it in trust for the future. And you get to growing, start growing, put your bedding plants out. <laughs> I mean, you can do annuals without even having the 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 forever uh, permaculture plan, which I am totally supportive. But you know, if you've got things growing and you can eat, that's that's just so immediate and so appropriate. Am I the last person on the list? Over. To me over to you april okay you can have i guess it is the last word if it's me but unless someone else has burning words that they need to put out there but I, i'm just appreciating uh being with you all i was really disappointed not to be able to be on the land on the farm and uh with the folks that i've worked closely with from a distance and that's both a contradiction and a reality of <laughs> how things are and how things will continue to be um what do i want to leave you with i i wish i could leave you with a song at the moment um i, I am a songwriter um oh. and i i had to discipline myself when i went into the liminal imaginal space because songs started coming out <laughs> And it wasn't time to have them. So um, I'll I'll think about that a, a bit more. Um, what would I say about going forward? Um, the gentle discipline and the, the following up on stuff and really digging into the 20 that gets us 80. That's what I'm going to be focusing on and... I have to say, virtual spaces are different than in-person spaces, um, but I have been lifted up. By what's happened with more tactile sensory things as part of this, but there isn't. And I'm really grateful people have continued to talk about having fun and the playfulness, because out of that comes a lot of other things and that adds to the responsiveness in every way, I think. So that is what I would say. I'm turning back over to Ben or Roland or whoever's doing the the ending song. I have it queued up. So um which means I get to say more because I just want to say thank you to everyone, everyone who could be here and the people who I know are here in spirit but just couldn't make it this weekend. And um uh, and I think Becca, you're you know wanting to be the fly on the wall um, as we do what we're doing. I think that's the Lifeboat Academy, right? It's sort of doing this in a way that people can just be a little curious, you know, uh, be a fly on the wall until all of a sudden you're like, well, I could do some of that, you know. Um, and uh, yeah, so I think. Um, uh, and and Heather, you know, your lips to God's ears. Um, and I I have full confidence that this is going to happen. Um, all everything seems to be lining up, and it really is just a matter of going following up, taking those steps and uh, making this the forever home of the Lifeboat Academy, which is a very exciting concept. So with that in mind, I'm going to turn it over to Frank. Right, Frank? Yes. Mm. Ah. ah, yeah, that kind of hit me hard. <laughs> uh, 
Um, so um, this is our closing. This is where we move out into the world and um, uh, just deep gratitude to everyone here and uh, keep on keeping on. Stay connected. Thank keep you. in the loop. <laughs> Much love to everyone. Much love, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.